Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to Southampton, the cruise capital of the UK. Oh yes it is. Very excited today as we are going to be boarding P&O's Iona for the second time. And in today's vlog, we are going to look at any differences in the embarkation and check-in process since restrictions were lifted. So come with me, let's get checked in. And here she is. Our chariot awaits, that's p and Iona, and we are going to head to Ocean Terminal and check in. Let's see how this goes. Getting closer. There are over 5,000 passengers to check in today, so goodness knows what we're going to be greeted with at Ocean Terminal. Up to this point, p and have never received so many passengers on board. It's going to be interesting. So as it stands, the only thing we've been asked to bring with us, apart from passports, is a boarding pass. Hmm, is that actually going to be the case though? We did print off our luggage labels as well, attach those, but that really is it. I think in recent times of the pandemic, people have been quite put off by the number of documents required for cruising. So this might actually be a breath of fresh air. All right, first job is to drop off our luggage. If you haven't been able to print off your um, luggage labels, don't worry, because there'll be somebody at the cruise terminal by the luggage pods who can do that for you. So our luggage label says pod 10 and away they go. Right here is the departure terminal. It looks like we're gonna to have to join this quite short line, which will take you up the escalator. Alrighty, that was a mere few minutes. In we go and up we go. Thank you. And check in. Thank you. Right, we've just been told we need our boarding passes and passports and that's it. Let's see if that stands later. So it looks like today we are literally queuing straight for the check-in desk. Uh, we're not going to be called by groups or anything like that. And I presume then we go to security and then on we get. It does look like uh, a long line, I know, but actually it's very well organised and it's moving constantly. So sometimes when you arrive at the terminal, you'll be given a card and you'll be asked to take a seat and then you are called up to check in as per your card letter. But look, empty. So I think we're checking in and then straight on board. Awesome. So I've just seen this sign. Um, we haven't had to complete a health declaration or anything for this cruise uh, yet. Maybe they'll ask us at the desk. Uh, we've not been asked to provide evidence of insurance yet or whether we've uh, been vaccinated, etc., etc. Right, that was super quick. Uh, we're already okay to board. He's just checked our passports. Uh, because we actually did a check-in online, we already provided our photo and our passport details, etc. So that was super quick. P&O will notify you when the check-in online facility is available, usually about two weeks in advance of your cruise. Right, that's that section done. No more than 10 minutes in total. We are now heading to security. Super easy so far. Busy, but well organized. I like it. And we're done. I think 15 minutes in total from when we arrived here. Uh, we're now hopefully going to head to the bridge and board. And just like that, we are on the air bridge. Little shot of Iona, God bless her. And off we go again. So you might remember that previously you picked up your um, cruise card from check-in. Now you are just actually boarding with this um, printed off pass. And then once you're on board, you should be able to head to your cabin and your cruise card will actually, hopefully, miraculously be located just outside. He's off like a rattler. He's not waiting for me. Don't blame him, really. Nearly there. Oh, we are there. Hey there, all right. <laughs> Here we go. Are you ready? It's that moment of truth where you step on board for the first time. Get those foots ready. Are they ready? Ooh, on board. All right, we're going to show our boarding pass here. And just like that, we are on board. That was super, super easy. So we are muster station A, and I think all you need to do is literally rock up at your station and they're gonna zap this, and that's it. Right, and this is our muster station A, zapped, and that's it. Welcome to muster station right, deck 10, we made it. We're just gonna drop off our bags at our cabin and collect our cruise card. There you go, we are 228, and 
envelope just outside with your cruise cards so you can access your cabin. There we go. And in we go. Right, once you're in, use one of your own little cards look to operate the electricery. Um, I'm going to do a cabin tour another time, but for now, uh, we are going to finalize our muster quite simply by watching the muster video on your television in your cabin. And that is it. Super easy. Oh, look, I can get used to this horizontal style muster. This is the life. So for a different perspective, this is where we came into Ocean Terminal up the escalators. Uh, we zigzagged down here. Oh, excuse me, the noise. Checked in over here. Did security down here and then entered the air bridge here onto the ship. And behold, Mr. Googly Eyes has arrived. Good to see you, old friend. Let's unpack. Close to the floor. Behold, announcement. Safety. Safety comes strip, first. So that really is it. The check-in and embarkation process post restrictions. Uh, there's no doubt about it. If you're able to arrive at your time slot, that obviously helps the flow of traffic and people. In addition to that, if you can check in online, uh, take your picture, add your passport details, uh, upload your debit or credit card details, that saves a lot of time when you actually get to the check-in desk. And as you saw, your boarding pass, whether it's on your phone, whether you've printed it off, that's all you need to actually enter the terminal, um, go through the check-in process, go through security, board the ship, uh, zap in at your muster station and then go to your cabin to collect your cruise card, your door card um, and then watch the uh, muster on the, the TV. It's absolutely faultlessly simple and easy. Uh, so I am a big fan of this. Please don't go back to mustering as whole groups and having to take your life jacket. Please. Thank you. Jesus. So make sure you have subscribed and turned on notifications for this adventure on p and Iona. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I do know it's gonna be awesome. Let's go and explore. As always, don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.